welcome back to our channel and if you are new welcome to our channel so today we have something a little bit different for you guys we will be doing a lip swatch video and we will be looking at this dear my blooming lips talk rose kiss edition from etude house so if you are interested in seeing us swatch the colors in this collection then stay tuned so um these are the palettes we each got our own because we're not sharing mm -hmm. and the packaging on these is really pretty it's honestly a lot prettier in person than it looked yeah. on the website but this is the outer part of it and then the actual case with the lipsticks is inside so oh by the way um on the sleeve you also have the names on the back of here yes. and because this has two different kinds of lipsticks it also tells you which ones are which. So you yeah. have chiffon and you also have cream lipstick. Yeah, so we're gonna quickly read the description for the lip set itself. So it says, Dare My Blooming Lips Talk Rose Kiss Edition consists of six matte chiffon texture and six colors of moisturizing cream texture, the various color spectra. Um, express bright and vivid lips anytime, anywhere. So there are six I don't know if chiffon means super matte or just demi matte, but there are six chiffon shades and then six cream shades. So, and on this, like she said on the back, it has the, the names. names along with whether or not they are cream or chiffon. And then they really want you to know the colors because they also have it on the back of the actual lip case itself. And if you forget they're back there, they're also on the inside. Yes, so that right is... Right down here. So that is what the inside of it looks like those are all the colors right there all 12 of them and as you can see they're all very some of them are really bright there are a few orangey shades two pink shades some bright reds and then some deeper burgundy kind of tones so this is that basically, whole spectrum yeah so basically this has colors i hope for everyone that anybody can use yeah. you know if there are some that aren't your aren't your style then hopefully you will find some that are a little bit more your style but um yeah, we're we're ready for this, you guys. We have our chapstick. We have. Ooh, I didn't bring mine with me. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. Hold Two on. seconds. All right. Yes. Now we're okay. ready. All right. So, um, just to make this easy, we're just gonna go down the line, and as we put on each shade, we're going to tell you guys if it is um, a cream or chiffon shade. And we'll also probably give our opinions on each color, just because because you know we both have different preferences in terms of mm -hmm. what colors you like and we also want to see how these colors will look on somebody who is you know not pale so you know will the colors work out will you have to finesse some of the colors so um yeah let's get started yes on to the lip swatching Alright you guys, so now for what you've been waiting for, we're going to swatch all these colors on our lips, starting off with the first cream shade, Temptation of Rose. Ooh. Now, these felt really nice going on, and it honestly did not take... Ooh. Okay. Very pigmented. They are. Although, because it's so small, it's a bit uncomfortable Ooh. what i like about this is you don't have to keep reapplying it doesn't this didn't really stick anywhere for me then again with creams they usually go on a little better That's i like pretty. this that looks really pretty on you yes if y'all okay. didn't know reds are like my favorite for lip colors if y'all yes, hadn't noticed this looks really good oh wow okay they so. might have just done something Temptation of Rose is a yes. It is approved by me. It's black girl approved. Is it approved by you? Yes. Do you love it? It looks so oh good God. on you with the white sweater. Okay, Liz. This is my new Christmas <laughs> look, y'all. I'm getting ready. To, I look. I feel like I look like that person, somebody's auntie at the Christmas party. That's what I look like right now. If I do that little thing that beauty gurus do where they do that like that, or they like put the thing in their mouth. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> Sorry, if you wanted okay. to see me lick something, you know what? Maybe for the thumbnail, we'll lick, we'll lick that. Just I'll lick like, it. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. So now we're going to take mm. these off. 
That application was beautiful. Oh, they wipe off easy. Hopefully this doesn't stain. Uh, it's not staining on my lips. Same, and this? Oh wow, this came off very easy. Whoa. My lips already feel raw, okay? All right, that was the first shade. Boom. All right, so Temptation of Rose was a yes. That was a So the next one is a chiffon. It is oh, the Rose yeah. of 10 million. Just a little bit, just a little bit. My lip. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I used a makeup wipe and I just lit my lips thinking I used a washcloth. Okay, so rows of 10 million. I just can't get over the lip, you guys. I want to be sad every time I, the lip goes away. Ooh. Okay. I like this one. Ooh, please don't look crazy. Okay, I like this shade too. It kind of. I don't know, does it? Ooh. Yeah, this it's still cute. looks good. Still looks good. I like I'm, it. I'm just dreading the pinks, you guys. I already know I'm going to look crazy. But Rose of 10 million. This is actually yeah. really nice. Yeah, that's cute. It Usually, so when it comes to lipsticks, I'm more of a cream person. Same. I've never really been a fan of the matte chiffon lipsticks. But, but I do think that if, like, my face is matte, a cream was like a good contrast to have a little bit of a glow and then if my face is dewy a little matte to just balance out the oil with the rest of it i don't know what i'm talking about i look like somebody's mom don't i i like this shade <laughs> it's pretty it is considering i don't like matte lipsticks like same that. i really now not don't i'm not gonna lie i did hop on the liquid lipstick train yeah the matte liquid stuff. lipsticks i like Exactly. I was most definitely a liquid lipstick gal, but um, in general, I don't really use liquid lipsticks or matte lipsticks anymore. All right, so this next one, you guys, Rose with Thorns. She's a cream shade. She's a cream shade. She's a cream. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. All right. I like that one, too. So... I don't know if you've noticed it, mm -hmm. but it feels like the cream shades go on the lips a little bit easier Definitely than noticed. the matte shades so far. But then, you know, we've only swatched one matte shade, and this one is a cream, but it honestly swatched so well. I did have a little bit of trouble with swatching the first matte shade, especially on my top lip because it looked, it looked like it just wasn't doing anything at first. And I was like, oh, God, is this shade not going to show up on me? But, um, all in all, once again, you a girl who loves cream shades, well, cream textures is doing for the cream textures. The mattes are still pretty, though, or at least the matte that we've tried on our Yeah, the so mattes far. are still pretty, but I've always been cream. Like, that's just... Same. It's just that the creams glide on so, so easy. Like, it takes literally no effort at all with applying these. Unless, of course, you just aren't good at applying lipstick, which even sometimes I'm not. Yeah. It's kind of like coloring inside of the lines. And sometimes you just end up a little bit out of the lines. But this shade, Rose with Thorn, is oh. cute. So, so far, this palette... All the first three shades, Temptation of Rose, Rose of 10 million, and Rose with Thorn are approved. I like all of them so far, but that's only three out of 12. We still yes. have. <laughs> you have nine more to go. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to get it. Nine more. When you can't do math. <laughs> Don't walk around with crusty lips, kids. It's not you good don't do for that. your life. It's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. Moisturize your lips. So the next shade we're going to be swatching is another cream texture, and it is Careless Rose. Is that correct? Yes, that is yes, correct. it is Careless Rose. So, um... Wait a minute. This is, is she one, orange? Yes. Oh. See, I love orange shades. I absolutely adore them, especially in gradients, but um, I know that you don't... I don't. really like orange shades. Ignore that. Um, oh. I wonder how this looks. Hold on a second. I'm going to see how it looks with the gradient. Real quick. Just light application for this. Cause. 
Oh, that's still bright even as green. So Y'all heard me say I hate orange, right? Well, I don't hate this orange. I retract my statement for the time being. You look good. I See? don't hate it. See, this is why I love oranges. You stay hating on oranges. Y'all, if y'all didn't know, I hate orange. Every lip color I've had that's been orange, I gave it to her because okay. I hated it. But, um, I like this one, y'all. This is Careless Orange. Wait, what? Careless Rose. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, I love it. I love orange shade lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks. Whether it's cream or matte, if it's an orange color, I am bound to like it because I just love orange colors. See, it looks good. I'm ready for Halloween now, you guys. <laughs> just wear this looking like a big old pumpkin. <laughs> Ooh, also, um, you guys, tell us in the comment section what your favorite shade is or what your favorite shades are. Ooh, I also don't think I mentioned how much this palette retails for. Oh, yeah. So, um, because I forgot to mention that because... I I'm gonna tell you now. Um, so we got this. It's on sale, or it was on sale. I think it still is currently. But the original price of it on Etude House's website, I don't know if they have it anywhere else because I did not check. I haven't seen it anywhere else so far. Um, but the original retail price of this is $60. $60. But um, on, on to, to the, the next, next color. Which is Juliet Rose Bouquet. This is a chiffon shade. Ooh. So, um, let's watch. Oh. It looks quite, it looks more vibrant on camera than it actually is in person. It doesn't look that loud. It's not screaming at you to go to class or to go home or to get out of my house. So it is more vibrant on camera. That's Definitely, because in real vibrant. life, it does not look that vibrant. Looks very soft, like yeah. soft daytime looks soft. But, um... It's it, still pretty. Yeah, Darn. but if you're somebody who doesn't really rock with colors like these, and you don't want them to be extremely bold, if you wanted to, you could just do a little gradient with yeah. them. Just apply it on like, ooh, I just... Or just apply in the middle and then spread out with your finger True. for a really soft look. That's what I tend to do with shades that I think are too vibrant. Same. So just I the tip. Because sometimes with orangey or pinky shades, I definitely put it just on the middle and either use my finger or I just do it little, just do that a few times. But... I am not disappointed. I here. still I like it. It's a little bit... I definitely would say that this is a corally shade or just a straight up coral shade. In person, it definitely does look coral. And some people I don't might say it. this is, you know, for some people like a my lip but better color, the MLBBs of the yeah. groups. But it's cute. Yes. So our anniversary, the next color that we're gonna be swatching Ooh. is a chiffon. And it, oh, that's bright, you guys. Okay, this one is it a, looks little a little bright. bright. It does look a little bit brighter than Wait, what Wait, is it chiffon or cream? It's chiffon. Oh, no. Okay. I really feel like I'm not going to like this shade. Oh, it's bright. Oh, Holy. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a no for me. <laughs> that means I'm not going to like the next one. Just feeling my soul. I'm not feeling this color. Maybe on somebody else. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. This has exasperated me, okay? I do not like that shade. No. <laughs> maybe on somebody else, there might be a way to possibly finesse it just a little bit. I don't know if maybe a lip liner would help. It's enough so, for me. this is our anniversary. I wouldn't be wearing this on my anniversary. <laughs> It's a pretty shade, don't get me wrong. It, it is, is a pretty shade, but I it's just, not... It's just not a pretty shade on me at all. Like, I don't... I, I said I didn't like pink. I honestly like the orange better than this. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. okay. So that... It's a cute color. It's a cute color. Alright, so we have tried on the first six, and now we are in the last six, which is the pinks and burgundies. So these... We have covered all that's left are one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So I'm worried about Shy Confession, which is the next color. Which is a very so. pink color. She cream or I'm chiffon gonna, or which is she? She chiffon. Okay. Maybe a glossy pink I could deal with because I do have another Etude House glass tinting lips top. Yeah, I have that, a pink glass tinting lip top that's pink, but it's a gloss. Exactly, which I feel like I can rock more with a pink that is glossy, glossy or creamy in texture or that's kind of a little bit transparent. But in your face, pinks are a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now, this is probably going to be. Can I just say they smell nice though? They don't smell like booty. They don't smell like mint and lips. Oh, this is actually pretty subtle. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this is not going to show up on my top lip. Just go ahead and tell you that now. Okay, so the chiffons are definitely a little bit patchy when yeah. applying. But I mean. Okay, so on camera it doesn't look that bad. I'm not I'm not as shook as I was when we put on our anniversary, which was a little bit too bright. I don't know if I like this coat on camera. I think it looks okay. It looks okay. But because it's patchy a little bit and it's catchy. Oh, it is pretty cat oh, I said pretty catchy. It it's is. pretty patchy on but then again I applied some a little bit of peri para on my lips. Yeah, because yours doesn't look as chiffon as mine does. Yours looks more creamy. I know. Maybe I should wipe off the peri para so I can see how bad, I mean, how it looks when it's not applied on top of a lip balm. It's just not a color that either of us would really reach for if given the choice. Yeah, this isn't a color I would like instantly. Like, if you told each of us that we could only choose one color from this palette, we both would not even at, at all consider Shy Confession. Queen so. of Center. Yes, so this is Queen of Center, and it is also a chiffon. This looks like it might be bright. I'm going to open it real quick. Okay, so this is also a little bit bright. I remember swatching this one. It was more like a hot pink bright. You know who would be able to finesse this? Miles J. He could finesse this. He could. I could finesse it too if it wasn't just I'm putting these on my lips. Okay, so in person. Oh my God, my voice was... <laughs> I saw my big end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, it's a pretty color, but it's not one that I would reach for. Okay. I just... Far away. So she can't really see how patchy it is on If my you're lips. not in my face, it might look good from afar, but if you're in my face, you're probably gonna be like, ooh, honey, no, what are you doing? Yeah, if you're like right dead on my face, like literally on my face, like this close to my face. You'd probably be like, honey, what were you what were you thinking? So personally, I don't really like this shade that much. Mm, I like it more than Shy Confession, but once again, this isn't a shade that I would wear on a daily. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a shade that I would wear on a daily, and it's I just, y'all, I'm not I'm not really about pinks all that much. Yeah. So I just kind of went into this kind of figuring that I wouldn't really like these shades, and I'm pretty sure you feel the same about it. Yeah. Once we got to, like, on our the, anniversary and Shy yeah. Confession, I knew that was going to be, like, the t just, I knew I wasn't going to really feel those colors, but they're still pretty. Yeah, I think they look good on you on camera. I think they look pretty on good. On camera, because I'm not that close to you guys, it looks really nice. <laughs> but if you were to see this in person, you would probably roast us and talk about us to your friends. Yeah. Like, y'all, I saw this girl on public today, and oh, she was wearing the wrong shade, you guys. Next. So next is a cream shade, and it Ooh, is Fragrance God. Rose Tea. Thank God for these cream shades, because... Ooh, I'm leaning towards these a lot more than these chiffons. I've always been a cream lipstick person, so I kind of already... I'm just going to quickly apply some more of this Peri Para Milk Lip Balm before I swatch. Oh, I like this. I like this. After three shades of being like, ooh, I look a hot mess. I like this one. I like this better because it's cream. Like, I think this was a chiffon. I wouldn't like it. This one is more of a dark pink. Yeah. I think this one is definitely more of a dark pink kind of situation going on. 
And so I definitely like it a lot better. Plus it is the cream formula, which I definitely like more than the chiffon. Um, yeah, I like this yeah. one. What's your verdict? How do you feel? I actually like it. The color, I was a little, I was a little nervous at first because I saw it and I was like, I don't know. I'm going to like it, but... I think the fact that this is cream definitely helps this color out a little more because mm -hmm. on me, if this was chiffon, I don't think I would like it personally. But this is actually really pretty. I know. I like it. It looks good in person, too. It's not just a, oh, it looks good on camera. But this, this color will look really good if you blur it out a little bit along the top, oh, yeah. which is what I did. Kind of blur it a little bit up here because it was looking a little too harsh with the first two applications. So I blurred it out a little bit, and I like it more that way. Okay, you guys, so the next shade we're going to be swatching is Finely Dried Rose. This is another chiffon shade, which, as you have seen throughout this video, we have not really been fond of. But, um, yeah, so this is another chiffon shade. Hopefully, because this one is a deeper tone, we will like it better than the yeah. other chiffons, which have been more on the coral, bright, pink side. So, Lord help Definitely us. Definitely already like it better. Definitely. Ooh, this actually... I think this one applies better. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I like this. Okay. Finely dried rose. Oh, my God. A chiffon shade that I like. Yes. Okay, see, so yes. I would reach for this. I would reach for this. This is the chiffon shade that I was looking for. This is, this, this is the chiffon I would wear this in the fall. For. Okay, I'm already imagining a whole look just based around this color, you guys. This is actually super pretty. This is really nice. Ooh, yes. Just a little bit of a moment. Just a red moment. <laughs> 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 And you wonder why he sounds like he smoked two packs a day. I think the reason I'm liking some of the chiffon shades more than the others because with those, I'm blurring it out a little bit. I feel like when you have chiffon shades like matte, chiffon shades, why do I keep saying shades? Chiffon lipsticks or anything that's kind of, you know, like an airy velvet. It looks true. nice, kind of blended out and softened instead of with harsh edges. Oh, yeah, you're right. Totally true. Yes. <laughs> Well, she's doing that. How is everybody's day going? It's going great. Is it going great? So the next cream shade is You Are My Rose. Woo. So this kind of looks like it's going to be a little bit more on the purple side just because the little um, serial number for it is PP501, which I'm guessing the P's. One of the P's stands for purple. But, um, yeah, let's. Ooh, I love it already. Ooh, yes. It's kind of fuchsia. I don't know. I stay describing things as being fuchsia and I don't even know what fuchsia looks like. Ooh, I like it. Let me see it on you because I feel like this would look absolutely beautiful on you. I think this in general would just look amazing. Oh, the lip is gone. It's disintegrated. I feel like this... Ooh, look in the camera. See? Ooh, that looks so pretty on you. See, this is a this is a shade for a deeper skin tone, most definitely. This would look beautiful on a deeper skin tone. Then again, I already knew I was gonna like the last two. Same. I already knew I was gonna like the last Just two. Just looking I at the palettes is. online, like even our mom, when we asked her to point out which shades she would want to try because we told her that after we did mm -hmm. this little lip swatch video that she was free to use whichever shades that she wanted. She's like our mom is like my complexion. Yeah. Maybe a little darker because she actually goes outside, unlike me. And she liked the last two, so. This is the last shade. It is Black Roses Ooh. Wish. This is the shade that we are looking so forward to for. the most. So we're about to go ahead and swatch this. <laughs> I love it. I love it already. Oh my God. Big reveal. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful shade. Oh, my God. I'm living for this color. Serving you vampy fall vibes. Serving you. Oh, I my God. Serving you. I major in astrology vibes. <laughs> serving Funny you. Funny fact. I was actually going to take an astrology course this semester. 
This is, this is hands shade. down my favorite shade in this whole exactly. set. <laughs> of all the shades, this is my favorite. The last like, three and the first three are my favorite basically. out of all the shades in the palette. No offense to the pinks. Honestly, oh, the orange actually, is two. Yeah, the first. The first two that are kind of orangey. Yeah, so basically, Temptation of Rose, Rose of Ten Million, Rose, Rose with Thorn, Thorn Cherilus Rose, Rose, Juliet Rose Bouquet. Okay. Um, Fragrant Rose Tea, Finely Dried Rose, You Are My Rose, and Black Rose's Wish are our favorite. Basically, we like everything except for like our anniversary, Shy, Shy Confession, Confession, and Queen, Queen of, of Center. Center. So, basically, wait, I cannot do math. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, nine out of 12 shades are definitely approved by us. Um, yeah, so uh, that was our first lip swatch video of the Ooh. Dear My Blooming Lips Talk Rose Kiss Edition from Etude House. This is a must have. Exactly, if you just want a set with all the colors that you could ever possibly need for the spring or fall, then I definitely recommend getting this. Um, it has shades for everyone. Hopefully they would work out for anybody who buys this. If you're not into bright shades, they have deeper shades. If you're not into oranges, they have reds. And if you're not into, you know, oranges or anything else, and if you really like pinks, they have a few pinky shades in there too. So this palette, we really got it because we felt like it just kind of has everything that we need in it. Any lip colors I could want to own or have are in here. Basically. So, um, yeah, this is just an all-around palette. It has shades for, for everybody of every skin tone. Let's go. Exactly. Like, this can work on anybody. Exactly. From the deepest of work. dark to the, the palest, palest of, of the pale. pale. Like, it's the amazing. I love the broad spectrum of the colors. All season, from spring to winter. Exactly. I'm about to look gorgeous all year round now. Exactly. I also like the packaging of it. It's so I'm pretty. definitely going to try and keep these in the case. And I also like the fact that Edgewood House included the English names for these and put the colors. The color names are not only on the back of this, but also on the back on that. So they really were trying to make sure that you know exactly what color you're grabbing for. But definitely, if you are interested in this palette, I definitely go ahead and recommend getting it. And yeah, yeah. So, I mean, our verdict on the palette is it worth the forty eight dollars that we paid? Even if you get it for sixty, I think yes. it's truly worth the exactly, money that spent on it. Exactly, because the Dare My Blooming Lips Talk edition and the Dare My Glass Tinting Lips Talk, they're separate lipsticks. On Etude House, usually retail for about ten dollars each. So if you just want a bunch of shades, this is definitely this is more of a value pack since they're separate lipsticks for the Dare My Blooming or just Dear My Lip series that they do have are definitely more expensive on their own than just getting 12 right away. So, um, yeah. If you want to just save a little bit of money and go ahead and get a bunch of shades for $48 or $60, depending on when you drop by in 2000 and buy them, I definitely recommend getting this. It has everything. It has all the colors you could possibly want mm -hmm. for a while. I won't be buying any lip products for a while because of this. Oh, definitely. So, um, we have a lot of lip products. Exactly. So this is definitely a must-have in our perspective. Yeah, in our so, um, yeah, that was our lip swatch video. Make for sure that if you do watch this video, tell us what shade you like. If you know you got to see it. Hopefully it won't fly by too fast for you guys with these colors. Mm -hmm. But um if you watch this, make sure you you know tell us which one you like. Ooh. It might be the complete opposite and of me and like the pink. True. And also give suggestions on what other kinds of videos we can do, how we can improve our beauty videos. We just really want to hear some feedback from you guys so we can, you know, get better at doing these videos and also get more comfortable with doing with them, doing them. And also we can put out better content and better quality content for you guys. But um yeah. That was our lip swatch. We have talked enough. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.